the conversation turned to the duties of life. Master to the doctor. Many think that the duty of a physician is a very noble one. The physician is undoubtedly a noble man if he treats his patients free, out of compassion and moved by their suffering. Then his work may be called very uplifting. But a physician becomes cruel and callous if he carries on his profession for money. It is very mean to do such things as examine urine and stool in order to earn money. Like a businessman carrying on his trade. Doctor you are right. It is undoubtedly wrong for a physician to perform his duties in that spirit. But I don't like to brag before you, Master. But the medical profession is certainly very noble if the physician devotes himself to the welfare of others in an unselfish spirit. Whatever may be a householder's profession, it is necessary for him to live in the company of holy men now and then. If a man loves God, he will himself seek the company of holy men. I give the illustration of the hemp smoker. One hemp smoker loves the company of another hemp smoker. At the sight of a person who does not smoke, he goes away with downcast eyes or hides himself in a corner. But his joy is unbounded if he meets a hemp addict. Perhaps they embrace each other. All laugh. Again, a vulture loves the company of another vulture. Doctor, it has also been noticed that a vulture runs away for fear of a crow. In my opinion, one should serve all creatures, not men alone. Often, I feed the sparrows with flour. I throw small pellets of flour to them and they come in swarms. They love to eat them. Master Bravo! That's grand. Holy men should feed other creatures. They feed ants with sugar. Doctor, will there be no singing today? Master, to Norendro, why don't you sing a little? Norendro sang to the accompaniment of the tanpura and other instruments. Sweet is thy name, O refuge of the humble. It falls like sweetest nectar on our ears and comforts us, beloved of our souls. The priceless treasure of thy name alone is the abode of immortality. And he who chants thy name becomes immortal. 
falling upon our ears, thy holy name instantly slays the anguish of our hearts. Thou soul of our souls, and fills our hearts with bliss.